Hey guys, it's Dragon Rockstar here, and I'm coming with a box opening of Dual Devastator. Now, I know a lot of uh, YouTubers have uh, opened these boxes lately on their channels and everything, but I have three of these that I recently just purchased today, and I want to open this box out uh, today, and then I also got a little surprise at the end that I would be more willing to open up for you guys. But, uh, a lot of you guys don't, uh, those who don't know, it comes with every single hand trap that you need to compete in certain metas. It ha comes with a few extra deck monsters that are required for you to help out throughout the meta. It just depends on what you need from these boxes that will help you out. It comes with a lot of good um, side deck options as well as a lot of good main deck options if needed. It's a really beautiful box, so let's go ahead and, you know, like I said, I got three of these boxes, so I'm just going to go ahead and slice this one open. Now, I think they all come with the same cards and everything, uh, so they're pretty, really beautiful boxes, too. And they're real easy to uh, store your cards as well, so they're really, really useful. <laughs> it just depends on what you needed. Sorry about that, guys. So let's go ahead and see. Now, they got pretty cool dividers and things of that nature in here, and they come, uh, see, they come with this, and they also come with um, some... Uh, you know, dividers uh, for uh, when you duel and everything. And I think it also comes with... Oh, eh, this one surprisingly didn't come up what I expected. But like I said, it's pretty easy to organize certain things. As you guys can see in here, you have a way to organize your cards and store your cards in different ways. So it's, this is a really nifty box. I'm going to go ahead and get the... Um, now the only thing that's a little different that you might end up getting that's different is the... Uh, the extra deck dividers uh, for both you and your opponent so that you might end up getting different ones. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, the other two boxes open real quick. Um, but like I said, they're pretty nifty and everything. So they're real easy to get certain things out. Uh, it comes with every single ghost girl in the game. And those who that are really, really competitive in this game uh, really, really love the fact that the ghost girls have been reprinted. Um, they're real easy to get your hands on. They're really beautiful boxes and everything. Uh, uh, they're just they're just a beautiful box to have just to or help you organize your cards and everything. I bought three of them for because uh, you only get one of each hand trap in the game, which is the surprising factor, which I uh, just honestly didn't like. But basically, you got every single hand trap you need in the game. Those of you that pretty much are uh, you know, have at least one hand trap short or something like that. You could buy these boxes and you end up getting what you need. Uh, it looks like I got a bunch of different. Uh, see, you get all these. Like I said, you get different um, dividers. And those of you who have watched uh, my previous videos, I did have a couple of these. Uh, thanks to a friend that uh, got a box and he had a few extra uh, field centers that he'd be more willing to hand me. So he decided to give me uh, two of them, and now it looks like I got another one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, these come with every hand trap, every extra deck monster, everything you need just to compete. I'm going to go ahead and open the field centers real quick for you guys. See what we get out of this field center collection. Ooh! We got what we're looking for. We got uh, Ghost Bell. Uh, we got Yugi. We got um, Spooky Dogwood. And then we got... Um, Oof, I keep forgetting her name. Sorry if, uh, let me know now in the comments below, what's her name again? I, I always forget that. But we got, we got some good field centers here. Let's go ahead and get the other ones open. Let's see if we can get at least one of every field center here. That'd be pretty awesome. That's all I'm asking for. We got, um, Ghost Girl, uh, Ghost Orc, Snow Rabbit, Kaiba, um, Pegasus, and then another Ghost Bell. So that's pretty cool. And then from the last um, kill center thing, we got another um, Pegasus. Um, we got Joey Wheeler. Uh, we got Reapers. And then we got Ghost or Snow Rabbit. So we didn't turn out we didn't get the Ash Blossom. But it's okay. But at least we got some good field centers here. Mainly the Yugi field center. I heard a lot of my friends could never really pulled it. I'm the only one so far by looking at everybody that pulled it. Which is pretty cool. 
like I said, the field centers is just based on what you really want to use. You can use them for all your decks. You can use them depends on which decks you have and everything. So yeah. Uh, what comes in the packs, like I said, they come with every hand trap in the game and many other things of that nature. I'm just trying to open it here for you guys. So, for instance, oh, the plastic just doesn't want to let go of me. Um, I'm going to open all three real quick for you guys. Like I said, these are kind of hard. I, this is my first time actually buying the old upstairs as well. So. Oh, this guy just wants to be a little difficult here. Sorry about this. I was very excited when I saw these at my uh, local game shop. Uh, I, I, I needed them so badly because a lot of my decks, as you guys have heard before, are needing a lot of good cards to help me out. Uh, these come with a lot and a lot of good, amazing techs and a lot of good choices for the certain card game and for the certain meta. So it just depends on what you're really needing and how many of the cards you need and everything like that. I'm just double checking on a few things here. It's like some things were misplaced or you know disorganized and things of that nature. There's a lot of good cards that were printed in here. So like I said, you get um, I'm gonna put these up here real quick. Uh, you get, for instance, you get only one Ghost Rick Snow Rabbit, but since I bought uh, three of the boxes, I have three Ghost Rick Snow Rabbits. Um, like I said, you get every single Ghost Girl, so you got Ogres, you got Reapers, you got Ash Blossom, hopefully you guys can see these, you get Bell, you get the new, uh, you get, uh, Speaky Dogwood, and then you get the newest Ghost Girl. Now, for the newest Ghost Girl... Uh, what she does is, if this card is in your hand, you can target once, uh, spell or track card in each graveyard, banish them, and if you do special summon this card, uh, you can tribute this card, target one fusion, synchro, XZ, or link monster in either graveyard, banish that target, and if you do special summon one monster from your graveyard with a different monster card type, fusion, synchro, XZ, or link from that target, you can only special summon, you can only use this effect of Red Blossom from Under Root once per turn, which is a really powerful effect in my personal opinion. Because if you banish, say if your opponent had, um, I think it was Link as well. Yeah, Fusion, Synchro, Ecstasy, or Link. Uh, so you get to special summon one monster from your graveyard with a different monster card type. So you could special summon any of the... So say if they had a bunch of Links in their graveyard, you banish the Link... You can special summon, uh, for instance, for my decks, as you guys have always watched. Um, I do play Light Swords a lot, uh, so I do play an equal amount of light, uh, Synchros, XZs, Links. Um, so I do play a decent amount of each. And this could be very useful for certain decks. Like, this could be very useful depending on what deck I face and everything like that. Because the link, uh, link Arrows and the Monsters always are needed in the deck, no matter what. Because I summon a lot, so this could be very helpful. So you get one of, you get uh, one of each ghost girl. But like I said, I bought three, of, uh, three of the boxes. So you get one of each girl. Uh, for the synchros, I got three Alistair Cataster, uh, three Bryonyx, uh, three Horus, three Black Rose. A new monster I haven't seen before, which is um, Clearing Wing Fast Dragon. It's a pendulum monster. Uh, it's mainly used for speed roids to synchro summon with, and it's a pendulum effect. Uh, click effect for its original effect. You can target one face up monster your opponent controls that was special summoned from the extra deck. Until the end of this turn, change its attack to zero. Also, negate that face up monster's effect. You can only use this effect of clear wing fast dragon once per turn if this card in the monster zone it is destroyed by battle or card effect you can place this card in the pendulum zone which is actually a pretty good effect and it's level seven so that's pretty pretty good of an effect i like this monster i might actually keep him uh you also get stardust spark dragon uh which is pretty good uh i don't know if you guys can be able to see but i have so i you also get three Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiends, three Trishula, 
Then you get three um, Vermulation Dragon Mech, which is actually a pretty good effect too. Uh, this guy doesn't really see much competitive play, but he's pretty good depending on what decks you play. So you get all these synchros, which are very, very good in my personal opinion. Uh, they could be used, depends on the meta. You know, sometimes you might see people that play Trishla, sometimes you might see people that play that for more synchro plays. Uh, Hurls is good for synchro plays. Bionic's good for breaking boards. Alistair is just, it's just Alistair. You don't really see much, but he could be really useful depending on the upcoming format. So you do get pretty much a decent amount of good synchros, but Scarlight's pretty much one of the most powerful ones from this box, in my personal opinion, because you get to, um, uh, you get to destroy all cards on the field. Except itself, which is pretty good. All special summon monsters, which is very useful depending on what decks you play against. And Black Rose is good at nuking the board, like always. Black Rose is pretty powerful as it is. So you get a pretty much a decent amount of the good synchros. Um, for the XEs, you get three Abyss Dweller. In my personal opinion, is really very useful. Like I said, you only get one of each one. I, like I said, I only bought three boxes. I got three 101s. I got three Castells, and I got three Tornado Dragons. My personal opinion here, uh, these are all very useful depending on different matches. Castell doesn't, might not see as much competitive play, but the rest of these, the rest of these three will always see competitive play no matter what. My personal opinion, they're pretty broken. I'm glad I got more Abyss Dwellers, that way I can actually incorporate them in more of my decks. Um, I don't really have many Abyss Dwellers to spare for many of my decks, so I'm glad I have those. Uh, Tornado Dragon's pretty useful too. So these are all pretty good. Um, Lynx. We got the Underclock Taker. The one guy I can never pronounce. Uh, three Gaia. The Link Monster Gaia. The normal one. Uh, three Danko Tuckers. Which is, this is like his third uh, Ultra Rare. Um, uh oh. I might be missing one, I think. Oh, no, nope, never mind. You get three of the newest guy. Uh, Danko Talker Extender. Extended. Uh, this card's name becomes Danko Talker while on the field. Gangs find margin attack for each monster it points to. During your battle phase, if a monster this card points to is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. Now, he might not see much competitive play, but he's pretty powerful as it is. You do get Tribological uh, Bomber Dragon, which is actually really of a good card. In my personal opinion, I love it. And then you also, for the final Link Monster, you get Sayuja Skull Dread, which is a really broken card in my personal opinion. I'll move this guy out the way for a minute. He's most of the broken... He's more of the broken card. Uh, Sayuja Skull Dread, I am surprised. Uh, they reprinted. Um... It, he sees a lot more competitive play than a lot of people think, but he's pretty broken as it is. Um, but so far, these are all amazing good uh, reprints, amazing good cards. They do pretty well depending on the meta, so I'm actually glad I got all these Link Monsters, mainly Sayuja and Tribological Bomber Dragon. I can incorporate those in more of my decks now. So, And then uh, for the rest here, it's a bunch of the spells and traps. I'm only going to show one of each because you do get. I did get three of each, so I'm going to show one of each. You get one DD Crow, one Effect Feller, one Gate Blocker, one Dinkle Seka, uh, one Inspector Border, um, one Spell Counselor, one Artifact Lancia, which is pretty good. Another reprint for him, and he needed another rarity, so that's pretty good. One Vanity Fiend, one Majestic Fiend. I'm glad this got reprinted because the Seeker Rare was pretty much going overboard on the expensive side. Uh, you do get Prankle Tops, and you do get Gamma Seal. I don't know if you guys can see it up there. Uh, so these are all amazing, good reprints, in my personal opinion. Mainly uh, Gamma Seal, um, Magic Spectre, uh, uh, Magic Spectre uh, Fiend, um, then you get Spell Castler as well as Gate Blocker. They're pretty all useful as reprints. And then Expector Border is another good, good, very, very good reprint. So these are all amazing reprints in my personal opinion. So I'm glad I got three of each of these. Um, so that's all pretty good. Uh, like I said, I bought three. So I got one Mind Control, one Wave Motion Canyon. One Super Polymerization, one Book of Eclipse, 
Uh, one silent graveyard. Uh, effects that activate in the graveyard this turn are negated, which is pretty good by discarding one card. That's actually really good. Uh, and then the one Caustic Cyclone, as well as the one Call by the Grave. Now, these are all pretty powerful as well. These are all very useful. I actually love them all. I might play a lot of them on my decks. It just depends on what they are and how I play them. So I'm pretty good that I, I'm pretty happy that I got all of these amazing reprints. Mainly Silent Graveyard, because I actually I can incorporate that into a side deck, which is pretty good. And then I'm also happy that I got um, Super Polymerization, because now I can actually um, show my... Uh, Dinosaur Shadals. So I'll be more happy to show this show that to you guys and I'll be more excited to do so. Um for the traps, which is a pretty much decent amount, and they are all really, really powerful that I've seen. So they can all be powerful based on what you do in different formats. Uh you got different dimensional ground. One typhoon, which is actually a pretty good uh trap card in this today's format. You can use this when playing against uh you, you can use this in Sky Strikers, but playing against a certain meta. Uh, you got Forbidden Apocalypse. I believe I pronounced that right. Dimensional Barrier. Lost Wind, which is pretty good, too. Uh, Heavy Storm Duster, which is actually really good, too. It's the same thing as Typhoon, but a little bit better. Roar to Creek, which is good against a lot of heavy decks, like Trap Card decks. Anti-Spell Fragments. There can only be one. It's pretty good, too. Uh, going against a lot of different... Uh, a lot of different get different decks that play a lot of different monsters. You can use there can only be one and it'll stop them in their tracks. Then you get Solemn Strike. Then you get uh, Wire Tap, as well as Rubber Boot, which do both play the same exact way. Uh, they both do the same thing. Um, so, like I said, I did buy three of these boxes, which you do get a lot and a lot and a lot of amazing reprints. Um, these are really all useful cards that I might incorporate to a lot of my decks, so I hope you guys are ready for those deck profiles. Um, I will be doing a lot of deck profiles this, uh, this time, and it'll be really amazing. Um, but that's not all I have to show you guys. I also have something very, another very special thing that I'll be opening on this, uh, in this video. I will be opening Ghost Stuff, uh, 2019 Ghost Stuff, Gives Mega 10. I did buy this as well as the Dual Devastator, so I'll be opening this up on this channel as well. So I hope you guys are ready for this. Uh, the Ghost Tophagus Megatons are really good, especially the reprints of the Dangers. They're really, really good reprints. Um, I, if we pull a Danger in this video, that would be awesome as well. But if we pull any of the other amazing reprints that are then also opening it up in here, that would be awesome more amazing. Uh, the Ghost Tophagus Megatons are one of the best Megatons of all time, because you get a lot of good reprints and a lot of good things. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm talking so much, guys. I'm just really excited, because it's been a while since I opened anything on this channel, so I hope you guys are really, really happy for this. So, uh, we're going to open the promos first, but we get three Mega Packs, so I'm really happy. So let's go ahead and see what we get out of the promos. So for the promos, we get um, Neo, uh, Kaiser, Glider, uh, the new Blue Eyes Ult Alternative uh, Ultimate Dragon, which is actually pretty good. Uh, Ross, the Winged Dragon of Raw, Monster Reborn, and ooh, we get Nibiru! I finally get my third Nibiru. I'm so excited now. Uh, I've been hoping to get this card for a while, and I finally got my third, uh, third one. So I'm pretty happy for that too. These are all really good promos. Uh, Raw might not see much play, but the rest might see some play depending on what you, what's going on and what decks people play these days. Um, so you do get a lot of good reprints. You do get the Thunder Dragon reprints. You do get a lot of good uh cards from the me uh, Mega Packs. So I'm pretty happy for this. Uh, so let's go ahead and get through the commons. I won't pronounce the commons because a lot of people won't use these as much. I might use depending on what what it is. Uh, like. The Awakening of the Dragon. I might use this in certain formats. I might end up starting playing this. So we're about to get to a nice, beautiful super rare. Uh, he's not really that useful, depending on what you play. We get Crusader, Ankle Max. Uh, not really, really the most powerful uh, Link monster to get, but he's pretty good, depending on what you play. And we get Nightmare Cerberus. So I'm kind of happy we do get Nightmare Cerberus. He's pretty pretty good, too. I always You always need another Nightmare Cerberus, as it is. And then we get Alter Geist. Uh, here's the rest of the commons here. 
like I said, Sky Strikers are heavily reprinted in this on the Mega Tens. You do get the uh, Thunder Dragon stuff, which are also heavily reprinted. So yeah. Try to get this pack open. Uh, here we go. Let's see if you guys can see it. There you go. Uh, Heartless Drop Off is pretty good of a reprint as well. It's a main, it's a decent trap card depending on what you play. So that's another trap card I'll end up keeping. Not really, really broken out of here. Uh, we get Incantation as our super, which they're pretty good depending on what ritual decks you play. For our, I think Prismatic Secret Rare. Ooh, we get Thunder Dragon, uh, Dragon Hawk, which is pretty good too. Um, I'm actually kind of excited to get this. I am trying to make up. Oh, oh, I hope I didn't spoil that. I am also trying to get um make a Thunder Dragon uh a Thunder Dragon deck, but um Dragon Hawk I already have a playset of, but it's good to have this as well. Ooh, we get a link out of this. Is this really good? Oh my! I uh, I I'm done, guys. I'm done. We get Boar Sword out of the Mega Ten. Are you fucking kidding me? Excuse my language. I'm sorry, guys. I, I just... Wow. Borsword. So we get Nibiru and Borsword out of this? This is amazing. I hope you guys smash the like on this. Please. This is... This is God. <laughs> we get Borsword. I don't care about the rare. We got Borsword. There's the comments if you guys are curious. We get Borsword out of this. This is... This is... I'm already glad so far. Like, this, I don't really care about this stuff. This is just, oh my god. I, 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 I'm, I'm too excited about this. This is so far a broken, broken, broken Megaton. Uh, <laughs> this is just, I'm excited now. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep going. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm shaking, guys. Holy smokes. I didn't beat a pool of sword. I didn't expect that. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, we get Crusader. He's okay. He's pretty good, too. Oh, this is another monster. Ooh, we get Danger. We get Danger Mothman. I am actually kind of happy I did pull a Secret Rare Danger Mothman, but I'm too excited about Boar Sword, though. The Danger Mothman is pretty good. Ooh, we get Thunder Dragon uh, Titan. I only have um uh, two of these, so I'm kind of glad I did get me a third one, so I'm pretty happy on that one, too. And then uh, here's the rest of the commons. Nothing really too powerful or broken here. I hope you guys do smash the like on this but like on this video, man. This is just this is god tier. We pull boar sword, man. We pull boar sword. And then uh here's the rest of the stuff we did pull. Uh, we don't need you. So these are all pretty good cards that we pulled as well. But I am so excited because we did pull boar sword. This is just smash the like on this on this video, man, please. This is just this is god tier in my personal opinion. I didn't expect to pull it. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I did open um dual dual devastator as well. So I hope you guys do like this video. Um, I just want to make a preview of this uh of the boxes because a lot of people don't know what you get out of the boxes, which I would recommend probably get your hands on at least three boxes or try to see if you can get some cards off of certain people. Get the cheapest versions as you can because. These are really, really good uh, cards for certain metas. You can use them for a lot of different things, a lot of different decks. So I'm all glad that I got a lot of these good cards from these, uh, from the box. Uh, I'm also good, glad that we got a lot of good field centers out of this as well. I'm so excited that we actually, like, we pulled a lot of good stuff from both that one Mega 10, which is really, really excited for me. Like, I, I'm just, I'm just so excited that we actually pull, pull what I wanted. Um, so overall, this is a really good, um, video and I hope you guys do enjoy this. Um, let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys want to see more box openings and things of that nature? I'll try to get my hands on as much stuff as possible. Uh, this Christmas, I might do something very, very exciting. I might open a bunch of boxes on this video or on a video and I hope you guys really are ready for that. I will also be doing a, um, face reveal on one of my videos someday. Uh, I don't know when I'm probably end up doing so. But I hope you guys are ready for that. Also, I will be uploading another video this week uh, of my um, Lightsworn 60 card uh, Invoke uh, deck profile, which will have more of a, a side deck that kind of uh, works depending on what decks you're going against. I didn't want to main deck this certain engine, but I side decked it more 
uh, depending on the meta. So I hope you guys are ready for that as well. And I hope you guys are really, really excited of what I just pulled here. <laughs> I'm just, I didn't expect to pull a boar sword, man. This mega team was lit. <laughs> like I said, smash the like button on this video and let me know down in the comments below if you guys really want to see more mega ten openings or more box openings, anything of that nature. And like always, Dragon Rockstar is signing out. Peace.